Hey guys, welcome to DJ Lee's Kitchen. Today I'm making guinisang baboy sa chayote or what we call here sauteed ground beef with chayote. Let's begin! For the ingredients, there's annatto seeds, two chayotes, baby carrots, medium-sized onion, one tomato, fish sauce, garlic, and ground beef. You can also use ground pork. Um, it's not on here, but I did add sugar, about two teaspoon. I added two tablespoon of soy sauce and ground pepper as well. So if you can make sure that you have those. The very first step on this dish is to cut your vegetables. So I start with my garlic, my onions, and then tomatoes. I cut them as shown on the video. Um, I cut them into min sizes. For the carrots, I divide it into two, so I use baby carrots, and then I just slice it thinly. Um, the size is about an inch. As you can see, um, they're very thinly sliced, one inch cuts. So for the chayote, I just wanted to show you how I'm uh, cutting and um, dividing it into four parts. Later on, I'm going to take off the skin and the seeds um, and then I'm going to clean it with water and then I'm going to start cutting them um, for the dish which is diagonal and thin slices. When cutting your chayote, um, you can try to do what I'm doing here. So I'm just cutting it diagonal. I'm cutting it into very thin slices just because my dad reminded me that you wanted it to cook fast. Also, you want it to melt in your mouth. So there you go. Give yourself an hour when you make this dish because it really takes a while. Um, there's a lot of cutting. The cutting by itself is probably going to take you about 15-20 minutes. Um, and then the browning of the meat along with um, making sure that your vegetables are tender. So that may just take an hour. So the whole entire dish might take an hour. So just be mindful of that. So when you're ready to brown your meat, the first step is to put annatto seeds in your heated oil. So let it stay for about a minute. It will turn red and then you can remove the seeds. Unfortunately, I was not able to record that part, but here is the next video where I'm trying to brown my meat. Okay. 
Okay, so when your meat is brown, it's time to put your vegetables to the pan. So we start with putting the garlic, followed by the onions, the tomatoes, the chayote, and then the carrots. So here is how I do it in the videos. When you put your vegetables, just make sure that you're mixing it with the other ingredients. Mix everything well so all the flavors blend together. Um, all the vegetables and the meat, they cook evenly. So now as you can see I'm putting one and a half cups of water to the pan. Um, it will help for my vegetables to cook. It will also give us a good sauce later um, for the dish when it's done. So all the flavors will be coming together at this point. So here I am putting my fish sauce. Um, fish sauce is a seasoning that you can find in Asian stores. Um, perhaps you can find it in regular grocery store but you have to go to the Asian aisle. Um, I'm doing it slowly and gradually putting a little bit of saltiness on the dish. I don't want to do it the other way wherein you put, overdo it and then it's too salty and it's hard to adjust later on. So. Um, Again, it's one tablespoon of fish sauce at this point. So here I'm just adding my carrots. It's the last vegetable that I'm putting on, on this dish. So um, I'm mixing it with the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm just putting the cover of the pan and letting it boil for 12 minutes. This is what it looks like after 12 minutes. So it looks so delicious and yummy. I'm ready to eat. Here I'm just showing you that I'm putting it in simmer. So I'm putting it in low heat. Um, it's almost done. You know, just maybe two, three minutes more and we're ready to serve. This is the part where I'm adjusting my seasoning um, to end. I added two tablespoons of soy sauce, one more tablespoon of fish sauce. Um, and about two teaspoons of sugar and fresh ground pepper. So guys, this is what it looks like when it's done. As you can see, um, it looks so yummy. 
healthy, delicious. This is an additional ground beef dish recipe that you can add to your very own kitchen. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, making a comment. Let me know how yours turned out and thank you for watching DJ Lee's Kitchen.